and yet some of the Tigers display team are as young as five. Yes, I'm talking on motorbikes, proper motorbikes. Indeed, all of the stunt riders are under 17, and they're helping to keep the sport going after the last of the famous adult display teams broke up. So, ahead of the Tigers summer tour, I've been to join them in training in Hampshire. Revving up for the new season, the boys and girls who tour the country performing stunts on motorbikes, including Kenny, who's just six. Get your motor running. I like doing the fire jumps, and I like it that high. And the first time you do it, you get a bit scared, but then you really like it. Looking for adventure. What's in the air? It's hard to believe what I'm seeing. Children as young as five learning these stunts on motorbikes. It's loaded to space. It's incredible. He's only been here for three months training with them. He'd never been on a motorbike before. And he's jumping, you know, off ramps. <laughs> It's slightly, like scary. it's slightly scary, but he's, he's incredibly confident. Um, and I think that's what's really good for all the kids, actually. It gives them an amazing amount of confidence. The Tigers, along with the Rockets and the Imps, are the only surviving display teams now. The Tigers' oldest rider is just 15, and their public displays raise money for children's charities. As long as they can ride a bicycle without stabilisers, we do the rest. It is unbelievable, but to see your kid go from that all the way up to jumping a car is amazing. The older they become, the more extreme their bike tricks are. It hurts at first, well, you get used to it, you strengthen your legs, and you eventually don't feel it unless it goes wrong. If you're good and if you concentrate, it's not dangerous, but like me, I'm a bit, you know, <laughs> so I fall off quite a bit. But like others who occasionally fall, it doesn't stop Brooke getting back on. Now, like me, the Tigers have learned from the now disbanded White Helmets team. But unlike back in 2012, this time I would be on my own bike. It's one of those sports in which it really helps to learn at a young age. And so we've got four-year-old Alex here, who's my instructor, showing me the lines to take around this beginner's track. Look at his control, steady speed, perfect. In the wet as well. My first attempt to integrate into the team and join their crisscross routine didn't last long. Just shows how technical and uh, skilled these manoeuvres are. I got rather confused, but I was still persuaded to try my first ever jump. Well, I tell you what, if five year olds can do it, surely, surely I can. Yeah. Oh. Although I didn't exactly fly over, so they turned up the heat, the likes of Kenny setting the pace as if I wasn't sweating enough. Now, don't try this at home. It's done in very controlled conditions under the supervision of instructors. Having survived, I needed a lie down. Not what I had in mind, but at shows and in training, the parents all have to do this. Oh, please! Oh, that's enough! It's all about trust and meticulous training, and in 39 years, it's never gone wrong, despite my concerns. And to finish me off, I was told to close my eyes for the show's finale. Hey! Oh, I think I've been aged about 15 years. <laughs> Probably 30 years, actually. I'd have That's been more comfortable had I been wearing the tiger suit, but it was a bit small for me, really. Very Who's unlike you, What's to say to enough. Scared? Oh, after two of them went over me, that was enough. But no, they all had to have a go. Yeah, it's brilliant. I was safe. I wouldn't you have were. let him jump over me, let alone jump over <laughs> on, the, uh, on the bike. Well done, see you a bit later. Uh,